In this video, we're going to be using the HCNC unscented soap with the HCNC apricot scenting oil and the Supply SE Pro Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I am your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and we have a good one for you today. As mentioned before, today we're going to be using the HCNC Unscented Soap. And this comes to you for $19 for 5 ounces or on our cost chart there, that is a good price of $3.80 an ounce. But remember, Pete has a very heavy pour. This is going to be most likely more like 6 ounces when you get it, so keep that in mind. The score, or the cost on score, I should say, 4 out of 5. No scent notes on this, but we're using the HCNC Apricot Scenting Oil. And you can find all these things at HCNC in terms of the soap and the scenting oil here. And this smells really, really nice. I put about 4 drops in, the, in my bowl and it is just smelling fantastic. So beautiful apricot scent. If I were to be rating the scent, it would be 5 out of 5 because I absolutely love it. And scent strength because you can control your own would be five out of five because you can add as many drops as you like and get the scent strength right where you want it. The base on this is called the top shelf base. I'm gonna put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. This is not uh, a tallow based soap nor vegan because it does contain things like goat, goat's milk, um, lanolin and tusset silk, which sort of disqualifies it from being vegan, but it's also not tallow and it whips up very, very easily. I'm gonna show you a lather shop uh, right there, I had no problems whatsoever lathering it. Ease of use, five out of five. This is a very good soap base, the top shelf base from HCNC. The razor for today, once again, we are using the Supply SE Pro Razor, and Patrick from Supply made some comments on my last video, and he said this will be retailing for $89 when they put it on sale. I got it on the Kickstarter, and uh, they will be fixing that rattle right there. So for the folks who bought this razor, they'll be fixing that and sending you a new cover. Uh, there's no mechanical problem with it. It's just that door rattles a little bit. So that will be fixed and that's very, very nice. We look forward to using this again today. And I'm using the black label blades that Supply makes and these are made in Japan and these are very good injector blades. And of course the SE Pro, in case you haven't seen it, is adjustable. You can see the number right there. When you look at it down, if you don't have it in good light, it's kind of hard to see, but, but if you get light directly on it, when it's not wet, you can see it pretty well. I'm going to start out today on eh, about three, and then I'll work my way up. Hope you can see that there. And by the way, there's many adjustments between the numbers. So it's like between one and two. I don't know how many clicks is in between there, but every little click is an adjustment. So keep that in mind when you're using this razor. You don't have to put it on the numbers themselves. You can go in between if you like and sort of customize the level of efficiency of your shape. All right, enough yapping. Let's get into it today. Let's go ahead and mist our face and then we'll get the lathering. And by the way, if you have any questions about this razor for Patrick from Supply, put them down there below. He looks at uh, just about every video when someone uses Supply or the Supply razor or as many as he can. At least, so if you have any questions, put them below. I'm a fan of Supply because they bring a lot of people to the traditional shaving hobby, and that is always a great thing for me. I believe at one point Patrick told me it was six or seven out of ten people who use Supply razors have never used a safety razor before. So that's incredibly valuable to spreading the good word of traditional style shaving. I'm a big fan of that, and they do, of course, a lot of marketing, and they've been very successful in their marketing. And a lot of people have come to traditional shaving from supply and from companies like Leaf and uh, uh, even Henson. Good examples of companies who, you know, are converting a lot of cartridge shavers. And that is great for us. Those of us who have been here for a long time, we always like to see new blood coming in. Um, that new blood allows people to, you know, they're buying things, they're allowing for innovation, um, spending money in the, in the community. And that's always a great thing. So I'm very grateful to companies like Supply who who are um, bringing new shavers in all the time. That is fantastic. All right. The scents on this awesome. In uh, with the four drops, I am uh, probably medium high at least in scent strength. And so that is great. 
So me, that's right where I like it, right in that to medium to medium high range. And let's wipe off our hands and we will get going with today's shave. And again, we're starting out on about on three. And so let's go here. Nice, smooth shaver. My first shave with the SE Pro was fantastic. It's nice and smooth. There's nothing rough or threatening about it, at least for me. And I enjoyed using it. it you can get this rubber sleeve as an add-on. And I know a lot of people commented in the last video, you know, they said a similar thing to me. If they think that is needed, it should come with the razor. But I don't think, um, personally, you know, I, I own the original supply razor or the supply 2.0, I think it's called. Um, I did not have any grip problems with that razor. So I don't think it's necessary. Um, but I put it on there because I added it, you know, when I backed the Kickstarter. And it does feel nice. Something rubbery on a razor just feels nice to me. I think a lot of people said, you know, they would rather see it built into the razor. And that's fair. Absolutely nothing wrong with that feedback. But uh, for me, I didn't find the supply razor to be particularly slippy, slippery. Excuse me. Nice shaver, though, I have to say. And these blades are very good, the, uh, the supply blades. If you've never tried supply blades, um, give them a shot. I know some people have um, made comments about them that... They like to use the supply blade with their uh, with their other injector razors, but because the key here is plastic, it doesn't really fit into the, like maybe the Schick Type G's or something, and so they end up taking the supply blades out and putting them into a Schick sort of cartridge. And you could do that if you like. That is probably fair as well. Um, I think the key might be a little bit thick for this for the old vintage razors, but you can still use the blades. Put them in an old Schick cartridge. Uh, by cartridge, I mean the loading, loading mechanism here, and uh, you can still use them. They are very smooth, and I would be inclined to agree with the folks who say these blades might be the best injector blades that I've tried. They're very nice, smooth, no drag, no tugging, no anything. And folks ask, um, how many shaves do you typically get out of an injector blade? Certainly more than a double-edge razor, but it varies from shaver to shaver. For me, what happens is I usually forget how many shaves I have on an injector, so I'll pull it. But it's it's more than five usually, at least more than five for me. So just to give you an idea there about that. And let's mist and get on with pass number two. The quality of this soap is outstanding. The Top Shelf ba Base runs with all the best shaving soaps of the day. And you can buy the scenting oils. I think the two milliliter, which I have here, is... I believe this is 350 and he sells the five milliliter and I believe they're like six or seven dollars. I don't remember, but it's really, really nice. I own a lot of these oils and, you know, even uh, it's not only using the oil just for unscented soap, but let's say you have a citrus soap uh, that's, you know, maybe it's lost some of its mojo. It's not quite as strong as it used to be. You could pop a little lime in there or some other citrus scent and bring it right where you need it to be, you know, in your bowl or mix, lather mix. And that is fantastic because you can sort of uh, breathe some fresh <laughs> life into some old soaps that might have gone a little bit flat, you know. And so you can use it not only with unscented, but with scented. Or maybe doctor up a scent that isn't great for you. You know, you can experiment. And I like things that put more control in the hands of shavers. And HCNC has, has certainly done that. And the scent your own sort of concept has really taken off. And by the way, I forgot to mention this in the beginning. If you do order something from HCNC, use promo code IMCDB and he will send you a free gift with your order. So don't forget to do that. And thank you if you do, I appreciate it. All right, let's uh, cut this back here and we'll get going with task number two. And we will adjust the razor upward a little bit. We'll put it on, you know, maybe around five. And the adjustment wheel on this, by the way, I find that one pull down on my thumb equates to one number. So I pulled down one time there and we're right on four. So it's, it's pretty cool in that respect how they've, they've got that adjustment. One pull of my thumb, or excuse, yeah, one pull of my thumb is about one number on the adjustment wheel, which is pretty cool. And there is definitely increased efficiency when you, uh, when you turn the razor up. And so that's always great. Uh, I don't find it menacing whatsoever, but I do prefer aggressive razors. So keep that in mind. To me, it feels very nice and very smooth on all settings. Um, so it's very enjoyable for me. I think I would typically start where I started today, which is about three. Um, 
You, of course, might prefer one, you know, two, whatever. It doesn't matter. That's the whole point. It puts you in control. You can sort of adjust it to your desire. And uh, that is fantastic. Really nice shaver. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, I'm just going to hit that side. But since I want to adjust it all the way up on the next pass, I'll go ahead and finish. And then just do another pass real quick. Today, I'm off to the hospital to... Uh, you know, spend the day with my mother who's recovering from a stem cell transplant for her leukemia. For those of you who have been following along, so we're switching off with my sister today. And I'm looking forward to that. It's been a couple of days since I've seen her, but everything is going okay so far. And thank you all for your kind words and prayers and thoughts and good vibes and whatever goodness you have to offer. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh man, this is nice, smooth shaver. Anyway. We've been very busy and for my fellow content creators who I usually watch and comment on your videos, I apologize, I have had a, almost no time to do that. Um, here I'm preparing three meals a day for my father. I'm going to the hospital, I'm doing laundry, I'm, I'm basically doing all the household chores and working. And so that has occupied uh, just about all my time. But pretty much the only thing I'm able to do is get these shaves in, edit the videos, reply to comments. I haven't had a lot of time to do anything else, so I apologize for not being able to catch your videos. You know, I typically try to do that, but right now it's just not possible. There's not enough hours in the day right now for me to do all the things I would like to do. So please keep in mind, uh, you have my support and uh, I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. I just haven't been able to watch and you know, um, comment and I apologize for that. I will when time permits, when time permits, but right now there just isn't a lot of time. I'm trying to just keep things going and it requires a lot of energy and a lot of time but you know it's an honor to to help and you know my, my folks are very good people and they would certainly do it for me and have done it for me I mean they raised me so um, it's an honor to be able to help and uh, no complaints here no complaints at all all right man this soap is fantastic easy to work with smooth as silk great quality HCNC is fantastic um, I, if I were to give this score, give this soap, excuse me, a score on quality, five out of five. Absolutely no question about it. This uh, Top Shelf base runs with anything out there. Um, there's no question about it. All right, and so this pass, we will move it all the way up to six, if you can see that. I don't know how well that comes across on the screen. And that is very nice and smooth. It's supposed to be going this way, that's okay. Sometimes we get a little out of whack. <laughs> But smooth shaver, even on setting six, which is max. And so again, I believe Patrick said he will be retailing this for $89, which is very cool. Not a bad price. And uh, it's just a nice shaver. I've really enjoyed it. And again, for those of you who are concerned about the rattle, they intend to fix that and ship a part to the folks who bought this razor. So. That's really, really awesome. I love companies that back their products, you know, and if a little something turns up, they fix them and address those issues. That's really how you should do business and supply is uh, certainly doing that. So awesome. So, so far my experience with this razor has been quite good. I, I really don't have any gripes or grievances to air. The only thing, uh, you know, suggested improvements, and these are not gripes or grievances, you know, the numbers, if you get them in the light, I found if I turn it way down like this, I can see it. But if you hold it kind of like that, the, what happens is the top shades the number. So if you turn it that way, you can see it. And that's sort of my, what I've learned is you got to almost tilt it that way. But if the numbers were a little easier to see, that would, you know, just be a tweak. Um, that'd be nice. However, again, I found you can see it if you turn it. And also, um, I don't know, what was the other... Suggested fix. I don't think there is any other because the rattle I think they're fixing so sorry. I lost focus there I got caught up in the shave here for a moment, <laughs> for a moment and uh, That was it but overall I have to say really nice shaver so far my experience with it has been very pleasant and outstanding and uh, This is the only, only my second shave with it. So this is limited use But the way I would describe this razor is smooth on all settings one to six smooth on every single setting absolutely no roughness from this razor if you're getting roughness 
maybe check your blade and make sure you didn't, you know, drag the blade against one of those nubs or something. Because for me, it's it's super, super smooth and super nice. Got some good heft to it as well. And so really nice run with this. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam we did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After applying the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we tied off with our Lancaster towel. Prior to using the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with the HCNC unscented soap and we also used the apricot uh, scenting oil. So the scores today will only be uh, for the soap. The cost on this, we give it four out of five. The ease of use, five out of five. Overall quality, five out of five. And that brings it to 14 out of 15, which was really, really excellent. And don't forget, if you get something at HCNC, use the promo code IMCDB and get a free gift. And don't forget also, they sell these amazing scenting oils, which I have really enjoyed. And today for me, it was apricot. Fantastic. I absolutely loved it. The Supply SE Pro Razor today was also fantastic for me. It's a nice, smooth shaver on all settings. So far, I'm really happy with this razor. Again, it's supposed to retail for around $89 when it comes out. I got this, of course, on the Kickstarter uh, early, but it's a very nice razor, smooth. The adjustment wheel is smooth, very nice uh, overall. And like I said before, if you look at it like that, the numbers are hard to see. If you turn it back, it's a little easier to see. It's still not super easy, but I can see the numbers once I hold it properly. So that's something I aired in the first video that I thought I would correct. You definitely can see them. You just, you know, if it's like that, you can't. So keep that in mind. Uh, we used today our PAA Switchback 400 brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razorworks brush soaking mug. We used our HCNC stainless bowl, and we're going to close it out today with fine platinum. We're still working this one down, and we'll apply a good helping of this and be off to the races and hopefully having a great day. And I hope wherever you are, you have an amazing day as well. Blessings to you all. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you that your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.